All right, how we doing today, folks? This is my second video today. Uh, there's a TV on. I'm at the car wash, and uh, I don't have the rights, okay? I don't own anything in here, but including the TV, I have no no rights to what they they say, okay? So um, as I'm waiting to get my minivan done and so forth, um, I thought just thought I'd do this article because it's like, these, these, this government just continues, it's determined to keep kicking this can further and further down the road, okay? You got a couple of states like uh, Colorado that's going to drop this mandate, mandate in February with the masks and so forth. And this article here that I'm about to talk about, the courts already struck down uh, this mandate about the National Guard. Um, having to be vaccinated, okay? They already done that. So basically, let's get into it. The uh, Secretary of Defense, uh, Lloyd Austin, and I can remember when he was a general in the Army, he's basically, uh, in, from a personal mandate, is personally mandating, it's like seven Republican states uh, of their National Guard, okay, that the governors are control uh, have control over, that they have to be vaccinated, and that's not the case, okay. Now, I'm not anti-vax, and I'm I'm not going to tell you what and what not to do. You do what's best for you, okay. There's pros and cons to that vax. Do your own research. All right? That's not the video I'm going to get into it or whatever, okay. And they took some content that I made last year off. Okay, so let's, before I digress, uh, the states are Texas, Oklahoma, and I did a video on that before about the governor of Oklahoma uh, opposing to that, and the uh, Supreme Court had actually, they won in the Supreme Court battle. Uh, Iowa, Alaska, I think Missouri, and a couple other Republican states, okay? These are GOP states are saying no, you know? They're pretty much uh, remain sta steadfast on their decisions and the fact that uh, the Supreme Court had backed it up. Now, for some reason, this case with the National Guard has been extended to June 30th, okay? When I thought it was gonna be December 30th. Now the reserves, being that they're part of the army, and active duty had to be done by uh, December 30th. But actually, that got shot down. Okay, I got to do research on that. Okay, they, but they were supposed to be vaccinated, or they would face uh, discharge. Okay, but that aside. But the this National Guard, I guess, you remain remaining steadfast. So I guess this makes it more time that they can fight this in court or the uh, Department of Defense can try to appeal this, okay? Uh, when there's actually mounting, uh, mounting pressure now, being that England has uh, dropped there, pretty much ended the pandemic, and there's going to be a couple of states, again, I said Colorado is going to be more states following suit to drop the mass mandate, pretty much to end this pandemic, okay? Probably unless it's like um, testing and that type of stuff, okay? Sorry about the light. I got to get the light right here. Um, now let's get to where it's not political, but it's personal now. I said this before, that the National Guard is under the Title 32. So it's basically stating that the, the governors, the states, okay, the state funded, this is the National Guard, and the governor runs the the National Guard in that respective state. Now, however, if they're under Title 10, which uh, governor, uh, I'm sorry, the uh, Department of, it's uh, Mr. Austin, this is the uh, Secretary of Defense's argument. If they're under Title 10, then they would have to be vaccinated. Now, Title 10, you could look that up. Title 10 states that they had to be under kind of like a wartime uh, deployment. It's, it, that's when the Department of Defense, you know, has jurisdiction over the 
the National Guard, which right now is no war going on right now. Okay, nobody's declared war, and we're not heavily engaged in combat. Okay, now if they were to have heavily engaged in combat or they declared war, then but that's not the case. Okay, so I guess the government is continued is to kick this can down the road. Okay, when pretty much things are what they are. Um, and now it's becoming like a personal battle, okay? Now, this tells me that things are probably be beyond political, okay? Or beyond like public health, okay? Now I'm seeing things uh, like families uh, split up uh, over this. They, I, they, guess they got this great falling, as they call it, okay, o over all this. Um, people are not liking each other that type of thing over because you don't agree or you yeah you don't agree with it and it's all something people don't like you okay now it's one thing if you're bringing up something political or bring up a public health issue how can somebody not like you or despise of you because you don't agree with something Okay, let's get to where people don't even respect each other's choices anymore. But that's what's going on, y'all, okay, with that. And I guess they're going to continue to kick this can down the road. And more than likely, they're going to they're gonna appeal it. Like I said, they're going to appeal it. And more than likely, they're going to lose that appeal. So that's it on that. If you got the information you need based off that, you can leave. Because I want to say something else. All right, let me tell you something else for you gang stalkers out here, Okay talking about that you trying to help somebody out and all this other stuff okay especially you there ron all right the most high has given me all the tools that i need okay all the tools that i read and resources that i need okay that goes to all you guys especially you men of god to get me where i need to get uh, get me through what i need to get through up at this point okay and sir you and mr president Okay, you don't claim this stuff that you're trying to help me out or trying to be nice to me after you threaten you guys are threatening my life, having these police officers and this aircraft flying over my head and all that other stuff. Okay, and trying to set me up in February last year and you failed and I'm still here. And now you claim that you want to negotiate or you claim that you're trying to help me out. Let me tell you something I don't need your help. Okay, I don't need none of y'all gang stalkers' help or whatever. Okay, you do you. And I do me, okay? And I'm saying to all y'all. And let me tell you something else there, men of God, to you, uh, Mr. President and Ron. If you're a true man of God, if you're a true man of God, okay, you wouldn't be trying to set nobody up for failure or make scriptures or threaten people's lives, talking about, well, the Most High is going to use whatever he has or whatever, or talking about my tongue is life and death and telling me things like, I'm going to fall or you're going to drop me or whatever, okay? Or I'm this close to death or whatever, okay? If you're a true man of God, you wouldn't be making stuff like uh, statements like that. You would say what you have to say and speak with love because Yahshua did not come to people in that type of way, okay? He prophesies. If you don't want to do it, you're, gonna, you won't, you're not going to do it, but you, you know, during Judgment Day, you're going to pay, okay? So it's not like based on your opinion. Because you can't get your point across the way you want to uh, get it across or whatever. Everybody's not going to agree with you, okay? Let me tell you this. The Most High had told Moses when they left Egypt and everybody is not going to follow his commands and all that. Let it be, okay? Talk about you need to, especially you, Ron, talking about that you need to get your house in order. Make, making videos about it. And then you'll say that if anybody speak with your hate on your site, then you'll block somebody. But you'll turn around and do the same thing that you tell somebody not to do. You and Mr. President. Okay? Talk about you going to kill somebody or whatever. Y'all get men of God or whatever. All right? Throwing up, hey, them signs and all that other stuff. And you're part of this FBI program. Okay? This NSA program or whatever. Okay? Trying to preach to people. Okay? Your preaching is not uh, effective. Nobody cares. This is about survival here. The scriptures do, okay, the scriptures do play, okay, in effect, but it's all about survival here in America. And you need to get yourself, your home in order before you try to tell me. Pluck the eye, the log out of your eye before you pluck the, the log out of my eye.
Hell, you can't, especially you, Ron, you don't even show your face trying to tell me or whatever, okay? I don't need your help. Help rejected. Have a nice day.